I can't remember the last time I've been to Disneyland. It must have been years ago. But honestly, I don't know why either. But what I do know is, for today's video, I find myself back here at Disneyland, but more importantly, it's Halloween time at Disney. <laughs> yes folks, spooky season is here early at Disneyland and I'm going to take you around the park with me so we can try out some new treats like the Halloween themed spice bun cake to trying out some poison apple cake. So kick back, relax, throw a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get down to business. The first place on my list is a fan favorite place to most and that is the Jolly Holidays Bakery Cafe. And this shop has all kinds of amazing treats that I would totally eat every single one of them. But what I'm here for is the brand new Halloween themed spice bun cake. And this little bun to fun is a spice cake filled with cream cheese frosting topped with purple glaze sprinkles with a spice mousse with a Mickey Mouse chocolate on top. And for the second item, it will be the new Jack-O-Lantern Mickey Mouse Pumpkin Macaron. And this little guy is filled with caramel buttercream and pumpkin cheesecake. And for the spice bun cake, it was quite good to be honest. It had the perfect amount of sweet to me in my opinion, so it's a huge W for me in my book. But definitely wasn't the case for the pumpkin macaron because holy moly, this thing is sweet. However, one thing is definitely for sure, this macaron is full of flavor. So for all you super sweet treat people out there, the Mickey Mouse macaron is definitely going to be your jam. After that though, I was walking around the park trying to burn off those delicious calories I just had at Jelly Holidays Cafe, which I realized I was getting kind of thirsty. So I went on the path to Adventureland so I can cool off with a new drink called Monstropolis down in the tropical hideaway. This stunning looking drink is a ube dusted Dole Whip pineapple mango drink with passion fruit, coconut juice, and lychee fruits. And I can describe this drink with two words, top tier. So I definitely recommend the Monstropolis drink at the Tropical Hideaway. Huge W in my book. Now while I know I can sit here all day and drink these down, but I must continue on to the next location, which is the Red Rose Tavern, where I will not only have some delicious pizza to add to my diet for today, but the opportunity to try my first Enchanted Pumpkin Stuffed Cake. And this delightful dessert comes with pumpkin mousse with pumpkin cake, with a apricot marmalade center, Top with green sprinkles, silver stars, and a chocolate branch, which thank god it was not plastic. <laughs> but overall, the pumpkin cake was okay, the flatbread pizza was better. Definitely like the look and feel to this place, so the next time I come to Disneyland, I'm definitely stopping by here again. Well, on to the next location, which I'm planning to hit up the Plaza Inn, and you'll know you're in the right place if the entrance is full of baby strollers. So let's hop on in inside because they have all kinds of crazy treats in here. From the very bright red poison apple cake to their very cool looking chocolate shortcake with a little tombstone on it. So you know I had to try that one out and I gotta say, the chocolate shortcake is probably my favorite by far today. And the poison apple cake showcasing a red cinnamon cake with a cream cheese and caramelized apple filling with a red cream cheese frosting was not what I was expecting. But I can see most people enjoying this one. But now, strap in folks because we are flying off to Alien Pizza Planet to try a little mini treat called the Alien Buzz Macaron that is filled with berries and cream goodness. And out of the two macarons I've tasted today, this one is by far the best one. Many light years better than the Mickey Pumpkin one. The flavor just pops, you know what I'm saying? So good on them, huge W from me for Alien Pizza Planet. And before I end my day here, I wanted to take something home with me to remember this day with. So I ended up buying one of those Halloween themed Mickey sipper cups from one of the side carts. And ultimately, my time here at Disneyland was great. And with me being a Halloween fan, I couldn't ask for a better day. So if you're a Halloween fan like me, then I highly recommend coming here as well. I truly enjoyed my time here at Disneyland and I think this won't be my last. Thank you to everyone for coming along with me on this Disneyland adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed your time here. I know I did. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.